Hey, good morning, Math 7. Today, you are just got one con to do. Today is discounts, markup, and commission word problem. So, um, let's go through it. This one isn't necessarily that hard, um, but we just got to go through it. So, first question. In Las Vegas, a Nevada store charges a state tax of 4.6% and a county tax of 3.65%. Um, somebody is purchasing that bag for $220 per uh, before tax. How much will they charge for tax? Well, the first thing we want to do on this one is we want to take those two taxes, the state tax and the county tax, add them together to know that you're going to be paying a total of 8.25% in taxes. Then we've got to convert this into a decimal. So we move the decimal over two places by just simply dividing it by 100. When we take 8.25 divided by 100, it would equal 0 0.0825. We then multiply that by the price of 220, and we get our tax price of $18.15. Yeah, not very hard. Again, you take whatever the upcharge is. Um, if you got multiple upcharges, add them together. Um, you get your upcharge. Then you take whatever that upcharge is, put it into decimal form by dividing it by 100. And then you take that decimal, multiply it by your purchase price, and that gives you the markup, um, the markup on that. So, all right, let's look what a discount uh, looks like. So, a store has a 40% sale on headphones. With the, this discount, the price of the headphones is $36. Now, what is the original price of the headphone? So, if you remember um, last time, we have already done a problem similar to this where we said, like, the original price means it's the 100% price. They're giving us a sale of 40% off, so we could take 40% off. And so then with the discount, it should make sense. We are, if the original price is 100% and they're giving us 40% off, that means they're only charging us 60% of the actual price. And since 60% represents the $36 that we had to pay for that, we now have the information we need to solve this. All we have to do is you take, if you remember, this price, $36, divided by the uh, the percent that goes with it, which in this case is 60%, 36 divided by 0.6 equals $60. And that's the original price. So that is actually the price that goes over here. That's what they were asking for. Now, what if they had said in this problem, what was the amount of the discount on this one? Then you would have had to backtrack this to find the original price first. And then what is 60 minus 36? Let's see, 60 minus 36 is, oh yeah, $24. So. That's all there is, guys. Um, not too terribly difficult. Um, only four questions to do. I'm giving you a good one. We have a tougher one coming up tomorrow, so I want you to be ready for that. Or get a head start and work on it today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.